make some barbecue ribs and the barbecue ribs I cannot make on a barbecue grill because I live in a place that doesn't allow it so I have to make them in the oven so here's we're going to start the uh, marinade that's three tablespoons of brown sugar next is paprika we're going to add two tablespoons of paprika and we're going to add onion powder one tablespoon of onion powder this is garlic powder we're going to add one teaspoon or thereabouts ginger, ground ginger, one teaspoon and this is liquid smoke well wait I'm going to add the pepper first. Here's pepper. I'm going to add a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, that's in there. And now the liquid smoke. One teaspoon of that. And I need Worcestershire sauce. We need a tablespoon of that. that in there. Then we need apple juice. I have a half a cup of apple juice. And we need soy sauce. We need one quarter cup of soy sauce. Put that in there. And we need the juice of one lemon. And mix this up and this is our marinade for our ribs. Here's my slab of ribs, it's three pounds, and there's always this skin on this side of the ribs, and I always pull that off. And next I will take my knife and just cut these into two pieces, like that. Not single ribs, but two pieces. I cut those up and put them into your marinade. Here's my marinade that we just made. Put all these in there. And you know, this is very optional. I decided to take some Grand Marnay and uh, put some of that in there. I'm going to add just a sprinkling of it just to see if it makes any difference. The ribs are marinated overnight. And I'm going to take the plastic off of them. I'm going to cover them with the aluminum foil and I'm going to put these in my oven. The oven is at 225 Fahrenheit. Then it's 225 Fahrenheit. So off they go. We're going to make our own barbecue sauce because I don't have any. So this is a quick and easy barbecue sauce that you don't even have to cook. So there's two tablespoons of brown sugar. And we're going to add in a tablespoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce and one tablespoon of vinegar. Just about any vinegar will do. Two tablespoons of paprika. Paprika. And some cayenne, cayenne pepper, fourth of a teaspoon, and some onion powder, one teaspoon. And just mix all this up. Oh wait, and ketchup. Darn, I almost forget the main ingredient. Uh, anywhere from three fourths of a cup to a cup, somewhere in there. Mix all this up and you have some instant barbecue sauce. The ribs have baked in the oven for two hours, 225 Fahrenheit, and I have another baking dish here. I'm going to spray it with cooking spray, 
And I'm going to put the ribs into this new baking dish and throw away all this juice. The uh, ribs have been sitting out for about 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, so I can handle them a little bit better. They're not so hot. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going ahead and going to cut all the ribs into individual pieces. Here's the original dish I baked them in, baked the ribs in. I'm going to spray it with cooking spray and I'm going to put all the ribs in there. Kind of making this up as I go. I didn't need to spray this pan with cooking spray. But anyway, I'm going to spread all these ribs out. Just into a single layer. And then I'm going to take the uh, barbecue sauce that we made and paint them with the barbecue sauce. I have my oven on broil so the top element is heating up and all the ribs are painted with the uh, barbecue sauce. And I'm going to put these under the broiler. The ribs have been under the broiler for five minutes. I watched them very closely. So you can take a few and put them on your plate. Very hot. You can also take some of your extra barbecue sauce and put on there. Very nice. Coleslaw and uh, grilled corn or corn on the cob is excellent with this. Also, um, you know, before this step, you can do it on the barbecue grill. Thanks so much for watching.